Hey, it's Paul with Dr. Phone, and in today's video, we're going to be sharing some very important tips and tricks for hard resetting your Sony Xperia smartphone. And there are several reasons why you might want to reset your Sony Xperia, whether it's running slowly or some programs just aren't working correctly. And so depending on the different problems which you might be experiencing with your Sony Xperia, we have a couple different methods which should hopefully get you working again. But before we get into it, if you're new to our channel and if you haven't heard, we are running an amazing giveaway. Wondershare Dr. Phone is offering a free one month license to Dr. Phone Screen Unlock. And to win, all you have to do is describe your experience using Dr. Phone or any other app that you've used in the past to solve your phone's issues, where we will choose one comment from this video as the winner every week and award them with a free Dr. Phone Screen Unlock license. This giveaway will go on till the end of this month, the 31st of December, so enter for your chance to win. While you're at it, if you want more great content like this with tips, tricks, and tutorials on all things smartphones, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell. All right, so before we get into the actual methods for resetting your Sony Xperia, let's first discuss the different reasons why you might want to reset your phone in the first place. Like a lot of smart devices, sometimes they can become a little bit slow and clunky over time. And that usually has to do with the accumulation of actual junk files that just need to be erased in order for the system to work properly again. And in situations where apps that clean up files don't do the trick, sometimes we need to use a system reset. Another common reason for needing to reset our Sony Xperia is when we have a system update that just doesn't go through properly. Sometimes the update process gets interrupted along the way during installation or after the installation is complete, it just seems to not work right. In that situation, we should reset our phone. As we always recommend on this channel, if you ever plan on selling your phone or giving it to another person, it's always a good idea to fully reset your phone, get rid of all your personal data, that way nothing is passed on to the next user. Another time you might need to reset your phone is if you actually forget the pin or pattern for unlocking your device. In that situation, sometimes the only thing you can do is reset your device. And lastly, another very common reason why we might want to reset our Sony Xperia is if we suspect or know that we have malware or any other unwanted program on our device. Next, let's go over what a hard reset is versus what a soft reset is in terms of using it on our Sony Xperia devices. In the previous examples that we explained why you might want to reset your phone, we should always start with a soft reset. And all that is, is actually restarting or rebooting our smartphone. If you're able to on the phone, you can reboot within the phone itself. However, if the phone is not responsive and you have a device that's old enough or still supports removing the battery itself, we can do it that way as well. If however, both of those previous options are not available to you, you will have to wait for your phone's battery to be fully depleted. In general, a soft reset can be a great way to fix very common problems, whether your phone is being slow, a little bit buggy, or certain system settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or touchscreen isn't working. It's always a very good idea to do a soft reset before performing a hard reset, because for the most part, a soft reset can fix very common problems. In the situations where a soft reset doesn't work, that's where we then need to move on and try a hard reset. A hard reset is another term for factory resetting our device. And it's often used in situations where, again, the soft reset doesn't work. It's very important to keep in mind that with a hard reset, it's going to completely reset your phone. So that means you will lose all of your data, all of your settings and any files that you have on your device. And that's why when possible, we always highly recommend performing a full backup of your device. That way you can restore and use those files at a later point. For our first method, we're gonna show you how you can reset your Sony Xperia using your settings. If our Sony Xperia is still working for the most part, the touch screen and the settings menu, we can try this method. These steps are pretty generic for all smartphones, so here's how you can do it. Open the settings on your Sony Xperia and then navigate and select System. Next, click Advanced and then select Reset Options. Under the Reset Options, you'll see Erase All Data or Factory Reset. You'll confirm the process by pressing Reset Phone. You'll then be asked to confirm this process again. Hit Erase Everything and then enter your screen password or pattern if you have one. This will begin the reset process. 
Depending on how new your phone is, this process can last from a couple minutes up to an hour. Our next method is going to be a great solution if you've either forgotten or don't have access to your Sony Xperia password or pattern unlock. Again, if you've forgotten the password or pattern for your Sony Xperia, you will need to reset your device in order to access it again. We can use Dr. Phone Screen Unlock to reset our Sony Xperia and remove the screen unlock in order to re-access our device. It's important to note that with most Android devices, including our Sony Xperias, which run Android 5 or later, if there's a Google account associated with them, we will run into some problems if we try to hard reset the device without knowing our credentials. If we don't remember the Google account details or the device is secondhand, it will be FRP locked. And although we reset the device, this will prevent us from actually accessing and using it once it reboots. In that situation, that is why we would want to use Dr. Phone Screen Unlock in order to fix this problem. Dr. Phone unlocks any FRP locked Android device without issue. It also helps us prevent losing our data while doing so. And even in situations where our phone might be unresponsive, frozen, or even stuck or switched off, we can still use Dr. Phone to reset it. And personally, my favorite reason for using Dr. Phone is the on-screen instructions, which guide you through every step of the process. Using Dr. Phone, the process is going to be very quick and easy. Within the app, there are several on-screen instructions and it works for most major Android and even iPhone devices. And so with our Sony Xperia, here's how we can use Dr. Phone. Launch Dr. Phone on your computer and then select Screen Unlock. You'll connect your Sony Xperia to your computer and then choose Unlock Android Screen. You'll then see a list of phone brands supported for this process. Click Sony to proceed to the next step. We'll now need to put our Sony Xperia into recovery mode. The steps are a little bit different depending on which model you have, so you may want to look that up before proceeding. In general, we can enter recovery mode for our Sony Xperia by switching it off first and then holding the volume up and power button. Hold these keys until you see the Sony logo appear. We want to make sure that during this process, our device remains connected to the computer. Once our Sony Xperia is in recovery mode, we'll use the volume button to select wipe data factory reset. You will then hit the power button to confirm this option. On the next screen, press the volume button to select yes, delete all user data. And again, confirm it using the power button. To remove the cache partitions, select wipe cache partition and confirm it by selecting yes using the volume and power buttons. For the last step, we'll use the volume and power button to select Reboot System Now. This process may take a little bit of time, but once it's complete, we can re-access our phone even though we didn't have our screen password or pattern. For our last option, we'll show you how you can hard reset your Sony Xperia using the hardware keys on the device. In situations where we can't access the settings on our phone, this is where we might need to use the hardware keys. If our phone has either become so unresponsive or so slow that we can't access the settings within the phone itself, we'll need to use these hardware keys in order to reset the Sony Xperia. Similar to the previous method, we need to put our Sony Xperia into recovery mode. We can do this using the volume up and power button after the phone has been switched off already. Again, we'll be using our volume buttons to select wipe data refactory reset option and then we'll select it using the power button. We'll confirm that we want to do this process using the power button on yes. Next, navigate to reboot system now to reset and reboot the device. When the device restarts, it should be fully factory reset and ready to use. And so in this video, we've covered the different reasons why you might want to reset your Sony Xperia, as well as the key differences between soft resetting and hard resetting. Thank you again for checking out this video. Hopefully one of the methods that we shared, whether it was soft resetting or hard resetting, helped fix your Sony Xperia and got it working again for you. And so if you liked this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. This has been Paul with Dr. Phone and until the next one, we'll catch you later.